Okay, in this video, what I want to do is I want to solve this little liquid-liquid extraction problem that was set out for quiz 25. And we have 100 kilograms of feed marked right here and 100 kilograms of solvent marked right here. And we've connected those already with a straight line. Now, in this particular case, since it's 100 kilograms of each, the mixture will be 50% feed and 50% solvent. So what I need to do is measure the length of the line from F to S, take half of it, and that's going to mark off the point where the mixture is. The next part of the problem says that the desired final product is going to be 99% benzene. So benzene is across the bottom axis, 0.99. It's going to be along this curve for the light layer and over here, and so I've marked the point for what will become my raffinate. Now, in this question, it asks us to find the delta R point. So this is going to be the common point for all of my various phases. Now, in this particular case, what I do is I connect the line from Rn to S, okay, the solvent, to the raffinate, okay, so those will come out on a common side of this countercurrent uh, operation. And the feed and the extract will come out with a common point. Now, in this particular case, I haven't yet marked where the extract is. So, to find that, I know that the mixture, if the overall material balance holds, will be a combination of the raffinate at the one end of the tower and the extract on the other end, which means that a straight line from R end to M should extend across and where it touches the other, the heavy liquid layer, this is going to be extract one. Now from the feed point to extract one will be the other line on the other end of the tower. So if the feed is the light, then this is going to be the top of the tower, or no, the bottom of the tower, excuse me. And if the solvent is the heavy, then this is going to be the top of the tower, vice versa. So I want the light layer to go in at the bottom, the heavy layer to be fed in at the top, and so they will kind of come out the opposite. So this point right here is delta R. Now for the quiz, that's as much as I had asked you to do. But let's go ahead now and continue this by looking at how I would determine the number of stages necessary for this particular problem. So I'm going to switch the pen color to red now. And what I do is I begin with this initial construction and I start with E1. Okay. Now E1 is the extract coming off of the layer one, stage one, and so I know what it was in equilibrium with by using the tie line. So I very carefully follow a tie line, and the other side of the tie line is going to be the raffinate on stage one. Now what I know is that the raffinate on stage one also must be in common with this delta R point. Every stage is going to have that as the common point. So I can draw a line from delta R to R1. Where it crosses here is going to be the extract from stage two. So these are the points that are in common, okay, for that transition there. But now then stage two was an equilibrium stage. So this is going to follow a tie line. And if I follow this tie line, it is going to come over and, so following a tie line, I find that it comes just very near, perhaps slightly below my R endpoint that I had marked previously. What this tells me is that at this point, once I've gone 
to more pure than my designated raffinate point, this is going to be the final stage that I need, meaning that I need two stages to complete this. So this concludes this little video. In the next little video, I'm going to show you how we can determine the minimum solvent.